Hello and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV, covering more items added in patch 6.5. First of all, today we're going to be looking at a brand new housing item added in patch 6.5 to the Fell Court of Troya. Now, lots of new dungeon um, drops appeared for the dungeons we already have in the game, the end game, and for the various patches. One of the items was a new um, sort of fissure item. It is known as the Pearl of Fissures. Now, that's obviously from a certain boss at the end that I don't want to spoil for you. But that new item can be crafted into the Blighted Earth Sword Stand. I was very interested to see what this one was about. It does actually require a masterwork as well. So I actually uh, got together with my girlfriend's sister and we you know, figured out the crafting for this earlier. But of course, it's a three-star recipe, level 90 smithing recipe using one of those Pearl of Fissures, which is an incredibly rare drop, by the way. So this is a good source of gill if you want to go make some. Go do this uh, with your trust, see if you can get a Pearl of Fissures. Sometimes it will just drop for you. And then it uses three of those Ilmenite ingots, two Babery cloth, and one Rutilated Quartz to make the item. It says, Cloaked in loam and enough ominous power to make the land tremble. This great sword evokes memories of a fallen despot. So one per estate only, like a lot of those items usually are. So let's plop this down. I'm really excited because it was it required such a lot of effort for me to find out where this was from. I was like, where is this from? What is this item? Does this pearl even exist? And you'll be glad to know it looks amazing. Let's go to somewhere that's less noisy with water noises so down here. And we'll pop that there for a second. I think that's a good idea and then rotate that around i don't know if you can hear on the ambience track let's turn that all the way up there we go look at that how cool is that item so it is literally a blighted sword from a fell court of troya well crafted from of a certain character's weapon i wonder who uh, i wonder whose weapon that is can you guess yeah, obviously, if you've paid attention to the storyline, you'll have a good idea. And then you've got a cloak on the back of that, look. With, like, moss on the back of that. Oh, it's so cool. It's got a noise track to it, like we said. But it is really, really nice. With that purple there of the blade that's very reminiscent. Yeah, I really like that. It kind of gives me Dark Souls vibes. Uh, the thing I would like to do most with this is get a bonfire. And uh, clip this into it. <laughs> and then I think I would be incredibly happy. Um, but yeah, I suppose you're supposed to see it from that angle. Because that's where the plaque is. But of course, you could rotate this however you wish. Yeah, look at how awesome those spell effects are. But it's such a cool item. I was like, where is this from? What is this item? I do like it when they add things to crafting. Locked behind special... Well, not specialties, but masterwork and you're like what is this item and then you find it and it's a rare drop and it gives you that sense of like mystery that you don't normally find in the game even through a housing item i think it's awesome and of course got an interesting wax it's like a wax seal or a symbol is that the the sigil of baron or something i can't really tell on the blade there but yeah how cool is that i was so excited when I heard about this one, I was like, oh, it's a thing. It's a sword that we could literally plunge into the floor. Hmm. But yeah, I don't know what we would do to try and make this Dark souls -y. Like I say, I don't remember if there's an indoors campfire or, or I don't know, maybe we could put it in a furnace or something or an actual fireplace. And of course, it is a statue item, so I don't think there is any diability at all to this. Um, just to double check, nah. There's none. But that's fine. In terms of lighting, then, that this actually produces, some people like to have really dark, moody places. This will look amazing in that. Like, my friend James has basically turned his uh, his room in his FC into a crypt. So he has everything in the game that's remotely dark and edgy. This is certainly something he needs to add to that. <laughs> it's so cool. Anyway, short video. Just thought I'd share this one, because... Uh, yeah, it's awesome. More stuff on the way of all varying degrees of difficulty to obtain, not just housing items. And I'll see you all next time. Let me know if you've got this one or if you have plans for it like I now have. And I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.